Hello, welcome back, and this is episode two, maybe, well, kind of kind of the first one. The first one was a bit of an introduction, so this is officially a first one. We're going to have some time lapses in here, we're going to have some cool builds, and a few other fun things to do. So let's get right into it. Thank you so much, Devil Man, for sleeping. Oh, look, I'm not the only one on today. I built those three farms. Those are pretty much the smallest farms on in this little area. Uh, we're also going to have um, two slime farms there, a honey farm, creep, big creeper farm there, and a sheep farm there. I have all the bees. I, I bred all the bees. I have the 32 beehives I'm going to need. And all the bees inside of it are fully grown, so it shouldn't, shouldn't be an issue there. Perhaps we'll even start outlining the slime farms, because those won't be that hard to build. The, the main grind is going to be the creeper farm, which probably won't be for this episode, and the sheep farm, which we might start setting up also in this episode. But before we do all that, I'm going to need something from my ender chest. And I'm going to need my fortune pick with uh, efficiency 5 and fortune 3, because... I've been putting this off for quite a while. So, obviously, digging all, well, not digging, but I guess TNTing all this up, I was trying to go swoop in um, and collect all the resources I could. I, obviously, I missed some, like there's some redstone there, some lapis, lapis lazuli, I think. I think that's how you call it. Uh, I always have trouble pronouncing that. But, anyways, um, yeah, I, I, I wasn't too efficient with it, but uh, I got the job done. And, and what we ended up with is all of this. Got all these diamond ores, got all this rest. This used to be full. I did share it with Adam, who helped me quite a bit. I gave him a stack of diamond ore. Got a bit of coal. I wasn't going for coal too much and didn't really go for a lapis. But I was mainly going for redstone and diamonds. And we got quite a bit of those. So we'll be hopefully mining all of these two out today. Let's get started with the redstone then. I'm just going to grab both of these. Oh no, that fell. Oh wait, I actually picked it up. Yeah, server's a little bit laggy today, but it shouldn't be that bad. And how I'm going to do it, I think I'm just going to put the shulker boxes here and just tower all the way up. I got the double jump here, so I'll get to place two blocks at a time. And we'll do, I think, three stacks at a time. And then we'll turn them right into... Oh, I guess I should move the crafting table here. But we'll turn them right into um, blocks, too, so just to save some space. So a little bit of a thing I noticed when the server is this laggy. Oh, oh, and you just saw it there. As I'm digging down, I'm not touching my keyboard at all, but uh, because the server is kind of laggy, I guess, so it's re-rendering uh, the blocks, and uh, it thinks that the block is still there, so it kind of pushes me up, then realizes it's not. So it, it removes it, and that's why I don't get fully pushed. Like, see, that just happened. That keeps happening. So I might have to rethink how I'm doing this, but let's see if we can keep keep it going. And I'm noticing that even if holding shift, it doesn't actually push me off, thankfully. Which it did that one time at the beginning of that. Um, but it still pushes me, and no matter how slow I'm going, it still it still kind of does that. Ugh, server lag. No! So, I'm thinking now, maybe I'll just have to lay them out flat. Let me quickly fly around and see if I can... Oh, okay, yeah, right here I think is a pretty good spot to... To do it. It'll be a lot slower and then we'll be missing a few a few of them. Actually, actually no, we won't be missing any because of um, how slow it is to mine even with phase two. So should be should be good then. So let's move our little setup into this area. And I don't even need a crafting table here. Perfect. And I'm done. Finally, that was about 30 minutes of just mining and placing blocks, and this is all we got. So the redstone definitely didn't disappoint, but you know, look, oh, oops, uh, I guess I should take that out of my hand. I was uh, just putting it in the offhand just to mend up all my tools back up too. And we still got quite a few hours, but this kind of disappointed me. I was expecting a little more than this. But then again, I did kind of give up on collecting pretty much everything uh, with five or so chunks to go. Yeah, that's okay. I can definitely use these. As I'm mining these out, I'm thinking, you guys are probably wondering why is there weird highlight all over 
over these blocks, all of these ores. And that's uh, just because I, I got this uh, resource pack and it, it just outlines these ores and just makes it a lot easier to see. So for the past week, ever since I finished that perimeter, uh, I've been working on a farm every single day. And uh, also this is a pretty cool little challenge I have for anyone who visits my base to try to land up here. <laughs> but as I was saying, I've been uh, working on a farm pretty much every day. Today I was planning to work on another one. I was either gonna start building up the honey farm, or maybe one of the four slime, or two of the four slime farms, I guess, or maybe all of them at once. But I remembered. I remembered that I was I, I've been promising my friend to build him another portal for quite a while. And although he does have another portal and it works fine, it's connected to the roof and it's in a pretty good spot, we're gonna make it look really nice. So as you can see, his portal is just on a little little sand island in the middle of the ocean. Nothing special, just just a very, very basic one. Something you make in like five seconds. So I had an idea and I'll show you his base actually and you'll kind of get an idea of why I'm doing this. He's making a really cool garden slash forest here with all these custom trees and that's his, uh, let's land here. And that's his kind of castle, his, his fortress, his mansion. It looks amazing, absolutely amazing. I love all this decoration that he's made. He's finally lit it up, so it's not a mob farm anymore. He has a couple more builds up here, but this, this is incredible. He's done a really great job, and that's kind of like one of his little trees that he's made. And that's, that's my banner. Uh, that's one of his trees that he made. It looks, looks phenomenal. So he's kind of going for an Asian Chinese sort of theme and I think I want to continue on with that so I was planning on making and I'm actually not planning I'm actually gonna do this today so we're gonna build this whole transform this completely I've, uh, I've come up with a pretty cool design in my uh, in my test server or my test world and uh, the idea is this there's gonna have like some rocks coming out of the ground out of the ocean here kind of raising up to around this level and um, there will be like a little temple kind of in there and there will be like a, a kind of bridge going by I'm, I'm still undecided on the design oh by the way I've uh, completely transformed this side of the mountain this was all uh, not here before <laughs> it's uh, actually kind of hollow inside but don't tell anybody that's why you can kind of hear the zombies moaning in there but I might light that up eventually but this is this is also not done I have to Put, put some leaves up kind of like vines and make it a little a little prettier around the base I'm planning to do like a little mini sand beach uh, I put this little here, let me show show it off this this waterfall in here that wasn't there either and yeah so the plan is uh, the extent of what I'm gonna do here is uh, starts over here kind of like this little path it's gonna have a little little tiny bridge here I'm gonna do this bridge actually oh, and I didn't make the jump I might put a couple of custom spruce trees up over here maybe some pumpkins I don't know something for decoration for sure and there's gonna be a big bridge going out that way today I don't think I'm gonna finish this side I think I'm gonna get started on that and see how far we get so with that being said let's get right into it
and I'm finally done with this. This was uh, this this turned out pretty good, I think. What do you guys think? This design is is something I've had for quite a while. I think I've I've worked on this about a week ago. Just been sitting in my um, in my single player world. It's just I I've been uh, I knew I had to build up this cliff here first, and then this whole cliff here because there was nothing here before, as you guys probably saw the the time lapse and that, that I was kind of putting that off for a little bit but glad to have finally done it and I don't know I'm I'm okay with the with the temple it's 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 something um I'm I'm sort of happy with it. it it's not bad it didn't turn out horrible and I'm happy about that yeah I wish the like this roof was is okay it's okay like these are not very connected and now it's kind of like floating in the air but I couldn't really think of a better way to do that, so I just went with it. And then also, this kind of like bottom part, this bottom lip, uh, it's mostly slabs and some stairs there. Uh, I was hoping to maybe kind of make it swoop down a little, a little more, but but that's just uh, there was no way to do that better on this scale. If it was if it was a bigger, like maybe twice as big, we would have been able to do a better job. But also, I'm, I move a lot. I realize I watched some some of my. <laughs> replays back some of my recording uh from from the last time i recorded and i realized i move a lot oh, around a lot so i'm gonna try try to kind of move the camera a little slower maybe uh maybe it will help with uh with making it a little more watchable i really like how this turned out bridge is okay i think it would have been better if it was like in a diagonal direction if you guys no scar good times of scar i think i mentioned him in my intro video or an earlier segment even maybe but i think actually they're in the intro when i was introducing my my portal uh i took this uh in like a lot of inspiration from his bridges in his season seven uh jungle village between like the big uh trees in the sky he has a lot of bridges going between them and uh, this is kind of an inspiration and his his go in like diagonal directions and all that and it looks a lot better because right now uh, this is like a little bit too too straight of an edge for for my liking from for what i was going for but you know what it's okay it's not bad also i'm just realizing now i could put these posts on like the outer ones which i think might look a little better because it is it is like that on the other side it's it's not directly in the way of the bridge so think that'll look a little better oh there we go okay so um yeah i think that looks fine that looks that looks okay hoping the grass will grow onto that one uh soon i think i think it can grow when the post is on there yeah it was this was really fun this was again my, one of my first first ever terraforming jobs i got some ideas from youtube videos just google images i i also i don't know how this is going to work because i recorded this in with um the replay mod so I'm hoping to do a replay mod a time lapse of uh, building all this up, and then after I finished, I I was messing around a bit with texture packs, and I came across this like better release texture pack, which makes them a little lushier, and I'm really loving it. And I think I'm gonna keep playing it like this, but I'm not sure how that's gonna look. So so in case anyone notices that that that's what that that's why they look different. And then also I put a lot of grass here, which I think makes it look kind of good. Except I kept this kind of path clear. Uh, some pumpkins give it a nice little vibe and uh, this tree here this was really fun to do it was a lot easier than I thought it would be too I just made it look kind of like crooked going up uh, put some leaves down and some some fences in there too I think it looks not bad and we got a little waterfall here I'm still not sure about the sand at the bottom might do a little bit something different there to fix that up later on but yeah we'll, we'll call this done for now and hope we move on to a different project. So, oh yeah, I didn't show you guys inside. So I love this fog effect. Um, I'm really liking the brick, and it looks kind of like kind of like a well well vibes, but except there's like magma blocks at the bottom, which looks pretty cool. And this is now my second uh, another portal that I've kind of custom made, and I'll, I'll show you guys the other one I did before. And uh, this is the second one I did. This is actually the well the first one I did. That one's the second one I did, but this the this is the other portal. This again is not a completely original. Oh, that one actually is a completely original design. Uh, that was actually, I, I'm, I'm pretty proud to say that that was a full, fully original. Didn't really rip off any <laughs> designs from anyone else. But this one I did find online and it turns out to be Grian. Uh, Grian kind of, I don't know if he actually did himself or his team designed it, but a few years ago he posted like a video of like 10 nether 
portal designs or something like that. This was one of them. Uh, it's a little different. It's definitely different. I, I, I think I added my own little touches to it. I made this a little more chaotic, these platforms. I uh, fixed up those, uh, <laughs> those I call them pierogi forks on the Anubis statues. And then I made the ears a little better too, like a little more pointy. Oh yeah, and then also around the frame, I, I made the, the designs a little different. I didn't want to make it completely, a complete rip off. This was kind of really fun to make like this desert area. I did this on stream and I think I'm going to be doing other builds on stream too. Uh, so you guys want to follow me there and catch my next streams that'll be awesome so yeah this was fun this uh, they're both pretty close to each other the other ones just in that direction and then off camera i was also a little busy here uh i cleaned up all these extra farms uh devil man and adam helped me i uh, moved a couple of villagers into that house to the basement there put a iron door so they don't escape so i can take off this village breeder I have them just in case I need more villagers at some point, which I really doubt I will, but you never know. And yeah, so over here we're going to be putting a lot of cool stuff. I, 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 When I was putting in these farms, it was just because I needed them. It wasn't ever going to be a permanent thing. Uh, the only farms I kind of left for now is the iron farm. I am not moving that iron farm. That iron farm was such a pain in the butt to make and get all those villagers. What was it? 60 villagers that are there and this cobblestone generator which is kind of cool i might move that actually but i don't know a better place to put it and for now this this creeper farm because it's it's like this creeper farm is just in the ground right now and it's not really sticking out or um like doing anything so it's okay to keep it here i think for now and it's generating well actually i emptied out the these chests just a little bit ago I have an AFK here in a while, but this is generating a good amount of, uh, of gunpowder, so pretty handy until I make the, the mega ones. And now that that's all done, we're going to head to the end. And we're going to do that because I am kind of ru running low on these shulker shells. So I do have a stack and a half there. Uh, it's not, not that, that little. It's a good amount. And I also do have three whole barrels of shulker boxes. And do I have any in here? Nope. And those are all empty. So I do have that, but I want more. Uh, I don't think you can actually ever have enough. So we're going to go and get some more. And then also maybe pick up a few more Elytras along the way and some diamonds and other goodies. And I'm all ready. I have uh, six Elytras with the chest plates and I have four more spares. I don't anticipate I'll go through either e even half of these because I, I have one on. And it's pretty much full durability. And then I have a full shulker box of rockets and a full shulker box of uh, potions of invisibility. So these will be very handy, I think, when I'm facing up off against these shulkers. Uh, they could be really annoying to fight. And my strategy is just to pick a direction, fly all the way down till we hit the world border, and then just fly around the border and just pick up any of the cities. But I think I actually already made a full lap all the way around. So I might have to pick a different spot. Maybe. So our border, I think, is 14,000 blocks. So I think maybe around 10,000. I'll just keep along that line and just fly, fly around that perimeter. So it'll be a little bit smaller, but we'll see what we get. I'm back from the end raid. <laughs> It took me a little bit, I think like two or three hours I was I was out there and I've even organized all my loot into all these boxes already and I'm just here to show it off. So starting with this box, this is all the Elytras we got and all the Shulker shells. So this is mostly what I was going for when I was uh, doing this little trip, just all these Shulker shells, just so I have enough. I, I, I've already had enough as I showed you guys before, but this is just to make sure I have enough for the future too. And we got a bunch of diamonds too and some gold and some of these dragon heads too. Some horse stuff, pickaxes, shovels. These are just the tools that we got. I don't know. Um, it's weird that it, they don't really do any axes in the, in the end, but Oh well, uh, they're not too hard to make. And then we got some swords too. Enchantments are okay on them. I didn't really go through them all. I don't really care about this too much. And same with this stuff. This is just upper gear, and then this is the lower lower gear. Yeah, this is this was good. It was it wasn't too bad. I I think I didn't even finish the full circle around the 10k border that I made for myself, or that I kind of set for myself. I usually just throw all the loot I got into like these chests over here. And as you can see, I already have quite a few. So I think I'll need to dedicate just a separate chest for like boots, legging. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna put like just a chest for each each piece. 
that we got because I'm getting quite a bit of it now. And I think that trip is actually going to round up this episode. So it was quite a fun one. We had, uh, we finally mined out all those ores. We helped Sean with his portal. Uh, we kind of built up all that stuff for him, as you saw. And we also did an end run. So it was, it was a little eventful. Also, during the filming of this, we had a couple of new people on the server. So I think we're going to see a lot more activity uh, moving forward on here and perhaps even get some, some other people in these videos. So that'll be really fun. But yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. Next episode, I think we'll be working on one of the farms and in my perimeter. I have yet to decide on which one, though. So we have the slime farms. Those will be a pretty big project so maybe i'll do that because I, I this is all i think i'm planning for next episode or i can do the bee farm i think i'm finally finalizing the design of that it's going to be based on a design from il mango but we're going to do like kind of a custom water bottle delivery system to the to all the dispensers because I, I i really don't feel like filling every dispenser and hopper up to the brim with water bottles that's going to just take way too many or we can do this sheep farm and i and i actually early Earlier today, I finally finalized the design. Though so it's gonna be really compact. It's like um, it's just a basic, basic comment set. I'm sure it's been done a million times, but I haven't seen it quite stacked like I will. And it's gonna be really compact. Like I would probably won't even need this whole, the whole width of this. I think it's gonna be like six blocks wide, and it's gonna have quite a few sheep. So I won't give too much away. Yeah, we'll see next episode what we work on. Maybe do a little bit of uh, terraforming too. Anyways, I'm gonna say goodbye here. Ooh, that's fun. I always like flying an F5, but I'm so bad at it. Yeah, thank you so much for watching again. I got crazy, crazy support from, from the first episode, way more than I ever expected to. I think I got like 10 subscribers off of that episode and like 20 something views, which is which is incredible for me. It's my first ever YouTube video and I'm, I'm really glad you guys liked it. And I, and I think it's actually one of the bo more boring ones that, that are gonna be on the server. So yeah, well, I'm, I'm really glad that one turned out like that and see how these ones do too. Thanks again for checking me out, for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. And again, I, I really do appreciate everyone who subscribes, who likes the videos, and if someone who leaves comments. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments too. That would be really helpful. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. And I just finished recording that outro, and I'm realizing I'm moving around so much, and I gotta, I gotta get better at that. I'm really sorry, and thank you so much for bearing with me through it. I'll, I'll see you guys next time.